Okay, hi guys. So I'm just going to record some of these um, cameos that the office sent over. And uh, I won't stop. I'll just do them one after another. You know, boom, boom, boom. And you guys can edit and distribute or whatever. All right, let me just get them up. <clears throat> hey, Millie. It's Pam Russo. Or should I say, Sammy Squid Kid. Squirt, squirt, squirt. Now, I understand it is a very special lady's birthday today. You! So, happy birthday, Millie, from the bottom of the ocean and the bottom of my heart. I'll be inking of you all day. Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> Hi, Harry and Finn. It's Pam Russo. You don't know me, but I have a very special message from one of your favorite friends. Me! Sammy Squid Kid! Ski work! Hey, congrats on graduating kindergarten, Harry and Finn. I hear you both like to draw. Well, maybe one day we can draw together. We can use my squid ink. <laughs> nah, I'm just squidding. <laughs> you guys are cracking me up. Glug. <clears throat> All right, let's do another one. Another birthday, another birthday. <clears throat> Hi, Linda. It's Pam Russo. Or should I say, it's Sammy Squid Kid. Squirt, squirt. I hear it's your first birthday today. What? That's right. It's your first birthday since your husband left you. Wait, what? Uh, wow. Okay. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna take that one again. <sighs> Hi, Linda. It's Pam Russo, obviously. Uh, first of all, happy birthday. <laughs> now, I, I know it's the first one since your husband left you, you know, but sometimes there's just not enough room. Uh, in the ocean for two crazy crustaceans. Especially when one of them is crabby. <laughs> Jesus. Linda. Hi, uh, it's Pam Russo. I'm here to cheer you up. And um, I brought a friend. Me! Sammy Squid Kid, I heard that your husband was a very mean man who squidnapped your self-worth. Well, I think that's just... <sighs> okay, all right. Okay. Hey, Linda. Uh, Pam Russo here. Happy birthday. Um, a little fishy told me that recently your marriage fell apart. And to that I say, good riddance. <sighs> what do you need that guy for anyway, huh? To, to sit around and, 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 and watch cartoons with all day and make you feel bad about yourself? You don't need that. Linda, you're better than that. You know, you should be soaring uh, through the sky and dancing on clouds, not anchoring yourself down to the scummiest muck at the bottom of the ocean. Don't internalize his negativity, Linda, okay? That guy is just, <laughs> he's a prick. That's what he is. He's a controlling, narcissistic piece of fecal matter put, put on this earth to ruin your day, okay? He's a garbage animal. Okay, sorry about that guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it one more time.
Hi, Linda. It's Pam. Russo. Uh, look, I got your request, and I just wanted to let you know that I, too, had someone in my life walk out on me as well. And I went through a lot of therapy, and I leaned on a lot of friends, and I um, went through the five stages of grief a couple of times. <laughs> Did ten stages, you know, I just got off the ride and went right back on again. Um, and I want to tell you something that I wish someone had told me, which is that it's okay to be shattered. Uh, you know, it's okay to wonder, what if? Even if it's not your fault, because the pain that you feel is just empathy for yourself. Deep down, you know, past the self-hatred, you know that you deserve happiness. You do, because we all do. We all deserve happiness and love and someone to hold us when we're having a bad day. And, and I want to be that person for you right now, Linda. So what I want you to do today is just take a shower. That's it. Uh, that's all you got to do today, Linda. You just got to take a shower and I promise you that that water will help cleanse those wounds. Okay, it will take it from one crazy squid to another. And uh, happy birthday. <laughs> as, as my friend Sammy Squid Kid says, you know, muscles only grow stronger with resistance. Bye, Linda. Take the shower, okay? The 24 Hour Plays is an artistic home for me. The team has really believed in me ever since I was a director in the life-changing Nationals program. And every time they ask me to come back since then, I'm just more and more grateful to be a part of this family. I got to meet so many amazing humans in the middle of the pandemic and those connections uh, extend to collaborations I have today, and I am so grateful for that experience. I mean, who can resist the unforgettable, panicked excitement of creating an evening of theater in less than 24 hours with a group of other theater weirdos? Any support you can give is so deeply felt. The 24-Hour Plays has provided such an amazing community for me, and I would not be the artist I am today without it.